Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to supervise any iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. So first of all, let me show you uh, on my iPhone XR, I'm not supervised and the reason why is because when I go to settings, any supervised device will see a message saying this device is supervised and managed by, however you can see right here, I do not have that message. Next, let me show you my firmware. So if I just go to general and about, you can see I'm running software version 15.1, model name iPhone XR. For this tutorial, you can use literally any device as long as it's running iOS 9.3.5 and newer. So even if you're watching this guide in the future, iOS 16, 17, etc., you'll be able to follow this guide and supervise successfully. Now, in order to supervise, you will need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. For this guide, we'll be using supervise.me. Uh, it uses a new way to supervise, which doesn't involve factory settings, so you will not lose any of your data. Again, it works on both Windows and Mac. The regular way requires Apple Configurator 2, where you need to lose your data and it's Mac only. This method is both Windows and Mac, no data loss is required. Now, I will have separate guides for Windows and Mac covered in this video, so what I recommend you do is check the timestamps down below. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the Windows method first, so if you're on a Windows computer, keep on watching. If you're on a Mac, you'll need to skip to the timestamps down below. So that being said, I'm gonna move to the Windows method of supervising your device. Let's do this. On your Windows computer, you just want to head over to supervise.me. There'll be a link in the description. And once you're here, you just want to click on it, get started, and you should be brought to this page. So once you're here, what we're going to do is we see iBackupBot. We're just going to uh, click on this one, and we just want to download iBackupBot onto our device. So don't uh, hover over the download. Instead, scroll down until you see iBackupBot for Windows. And you see here, click here to download now. Just click on this one, and then iBackupBot should start downloading. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back, and we see here iTunes Windows slash Mac. So here's the thing, you may have iTunes already on your device, however this version may be from the Microsoft Store. So what you're going to do, you just want to click on the Windows button uh, to be redirected to the iTunes page. And once you're here, you see this, get it from Microsoft. We do not want to download the Microsoft Store version of iTunes. If you already have iTunes on your device and you're not sure which one you have, I recommend that you just delete the version of iTunes you have, then go back to this website, scroll down, you see you're looking for other versions, click on Windows, and you see a download iTunes for Windows now 64-bit. This is a different version, and this version works uh, with iBackupBot. So we're just going to click on this one, and then iTunes should start downloading. Once iTunes starts downloading, you want to go back to this page, and you see the supervised backup. Just click into this one, and you should see here the supervised backup will download. It will also redirect you to an ad. You know, if you want to help support supervisors not me, just click around on the ad. Otherwise, you can always just close out of the page. So what you're going to do is once I back up what downloads, you just want to set it up. Once iTunes downloads, you want to set it up. And you also want to wait for this uh, .zip to download. I'm just going to cancel these because I already have them all installed. Once everything is downloaded, the next step is I want you to open up the file explorer. And you just want to navigate to downloads. And you just want to find here supervised and it should be a .zip. You're going to double click into this one. And you see here uh, this folder. We're going to click on Extract All. Then we're going to click on Extract. And now we have this supervised backup uh, on our computer. Once the extract is completed, you can see we have the Add Supervision and the Supervised folder. We will need these later. The next step is we just want to open up the iBackabot application. And then once iBackabot opens, you want to plug your device to the computer. So I'm going to do that now. Once your device is connected to the computer, if you receive this error here, which is connecting to device failed, what you need to do is you need to unlock your device. You need to go to the home screen and you should see this message which says trust this computer. Just tap on trust, enter in your passcode if prompted, then just click on yes. And there we go, you can see my iPhone has been recognized. So once your device is recognized, you just want to click on open the backup. You want to navigate to downloads. You just want to find that uh, supervised folder. Double click into this one. Add supervision, supervise. Just double click into this one. And once you see no items match your search, you just want to click on select folder. So now we have the add supervision backup uh, here. We're going to click on a plus for this one. Click on system files. And then click on search and search for config. Click on enter and you see a configuration profiles. You're going to click into this once, right click, restore selected items to device. And before you press on OK, what you need to do is on your device, you need to go into settings. Uh, you just want to go to the uh, iCloud account and you want to turn off find my iPhone, or find my iPad or find my iPod touch. If you don't you know, know where that is, look it up. If you still can't figure it out, just sign out of your iCloud account entirely. Restore the backup, then sign back in. 
The reason why is because Apple will not let you restore backups uh, unless Find My iPhone is turned off or Find My iPad, etc. So we've seen the password. You just want to enter in the passcode, which is 1111. Once you've entered that in, you're going to click on OK. And you should see here the backup will restore onto your device. So we'll just give it a little bit. It really takes like a couple of seconds maximum. And once you see this restore completed, you're good to go. You do not need your Windows computer anymore. You can click on OK and you can just close out of my backup bar. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next steps on the device itself. On your Mac, you just want to head over to supervise.me. There will be a link in the description. Once you're here, you're going to click on Get Started, and you should be brought to this page. So this page, if you're wondering, if you just want to go there dir uh, directly, is go.supervise.me. Once you're here, you're going to see the downloads. You're going to right-click on iBackup Bot, open a new tab, and you should be brought to this page. You're going to scroll down, and you see iBackup Bot for Mac. You're just going to click on uh, the download, click this one, and iBackup Bot should download. Then we're going to go back. And the next step is you see iTunes. This download is optional depending on which firmware of macOS you are on. So in order to check your firmware, what you're going to do is you're going to see the Apple logo at the top left. You're going to click into this one. You see here about this Mac, select about this Mac, and then you see your macOS version and a version uh, number. We want to look at the version number here because if you're running macOS version 10.15 or later, you need to download the iTunes from this website. I'll walk it through. If you're running macOS version 10.14 and older, guess what? You do not need to use this on-site uh, iTunes backup. Instead, I will have a timestamp down below for where you need to skip. So what we're going to do is if we do need uh, to download the iTunes, wait, uh, which I need to do, we're just going to click on the Mac right here. And the reason why we're using this retroactive 1.9 is because Apple discontinued iTunes with macOS Catalina and later. So we're using this tool to re-download iTunes. The reason why we need this is because iTunes uh, allows us to use iBackup Bot. So we you know, kind of need iTunes. So in order to get it, we're just going to click to download for retroactive. And you can see the download is going to start right here. Once the download is finished, you just want to open up the Finder. You can navigate to downloads and you should see at the very top your retroactive. If you don't see it, just search it up right here. Or you see this one here. They added, just click this until you see the latest date today. And then that means you have the latest downloads at the top. So we're going to double click in this dot zip and that's going to extract it. Now we see here the retroactive 1.9. We're going to double click into this one and you see here retroactive right click to open. So let's do this. Let's right click, open. And we should see this retroactive uh, cannot be open. Just click on cancel, but do, do this one more time. So right click, open again. And the second time you do this, you'll have the option to open up the application. Once you're here, if you're running the newer uh, versions of macOS, you will have this message. Just click on run anyways. And then you're going to see here iTunes. Click on the install here and it will ask for your most important feature. Just click on continue. And for me, it doesn't ask me, but for you, it will ask you to enter in your passcode, then iTunes will download. The reason why it's not showing this for me is because I already have done this process. So for you, enter in your passcode as many times as it requires. Uh, this uh, this tool is open source, so if you're thinking it's going to do something dodgy, you can always check the source code and everything is completely safe. And then iTunes will download, and once it downloads, you're going to see this page. One more thing, enable full disk asset, uh, access so you can use uh, your iPod Touch. Now, here's the thing. Because we don't actually use iTunes, an iBackup bot is able to recognize our iPod Touch anyways. You do not even need to do this. So just click on I don't need to sync with iPod Touch, even if you do. And you can see you've already unlocked iTunes. And what we're going to do is we're going to close out of this. So we need to find that iBackup bot download earlier. So you can see iBackup bot dash setup dot DMG. We're going to double click into this one. We'll give it a little bit. We see iBackup bot applications. We're going to drag and drop. Uh, for me, it's going to ask to replace because I've done this before. And then we'll uh, double click on applications. And we just want to find our backup bot. And you see right here, there it is. We're going to right click. And we're going to click on open. And we'll click on open one more time. And you should be able to see. Boom, just like that, iBackup Bot should load up. So here's the deal, right? Um, first of all, iBackup Bot is really buggy and it just crashes a lot. So if you're following one of my steps and then iBackup Bot crashes, what you need to do is load up iBackup Bot again, then repeat the same steps. So the next step is what we need to do is we need to go back to uh, go.supervise.me and we need to make sure we download the supervised backup. So let's just click on the supervised backup. I'll give it a little bit. And you can see just like that, the supervised backup 
will download. So if you see this ads here, you know, again, it's an ad. If you want to click on the ads to help support supervised.me, because I don't think this uh, this service exists anywhere else, because I created it, so I would know. Um, you know, feel, feel free, be my guest, but if you just want to close out the ads, uh, feel free as well. So we can see the supervised.zip has downloaded. So we need to go back to the finder. We need to go back to download. We see supervised.zip, double click into this one, and we see add supervision. We need this folder for later because what we're going to do is we're going to open up my backup bot. We're going to click on the plus here. And once we click on the plus, we're going to navigate to downloads. And we want to find add supervision. We're going to double click into this one, double click into supervise. And once you see what these files see, you're going to click on open. So now we've just imported the supervision mode backup. So the next step is we need to plug our device into the computer. I'm going to do that now. Once you connect your device to the computer, you can see I got this error here. And the reason why I got this error is because on the device itself, it says trust this computer. So I'm going to tap on trust. And if you're prompted, enter in your passcode, then we'll just click on yes. And let's see, there we go, iPhone XR has been successfully connected. So from experience, adding backups and also connecting your device will crash your iBackup bot very frequently. I don't know if the older macOS versions have this issue, but I'm running this application on Rosetta 2. And of course, the iTunes I have is, you know, a modded one. So just keep that in mind again. You know, if this crashes, just open it up, just repeat the steps, which were lost. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to click on the arrow by add supervision. Then we're going to click on the system files folder. And then we're going to search up for config. We're going to click on enter. And we're going to see here configuration profiles. We're going to right click on this one, restore selected items to device. Before we proceed, you just want to go on your device real quick and make sure you sign out of iCloud. And if you can't sign out of iCloud, just turn off find my iPhone. And the reason why I say this is because in order to restore backups, find my iPhone needs to be turned off. I've seen some people have had issues when they you know, turn off find my iPhone and they still get an error. And if you're in that situation, I just recommend signing up iCloud. So do one or the other. And once you've done that, you just want to enter in the passcode. So the passcode, nice and simple, one, 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 one. So, you know, one, 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 one. And all you're going to do is you're just going to click on OK. And once you do that, the backup is going to restore on your device. So you can see message, restore completed, and your iPhone should restart. So there we go. You know, with the computer, uh, you do not need to use your Mac anymore. And I'm going to show you uh, what's happening on my iPhone. And we'll move over to the next steps. All right. So you can see we're now back onto the setup screen. So all you need to do is just set up your device back to the home screen. There is one uh, important area which you need to see so i'm just going to cut to that one this part right here so you need to make sure you tap on don't transfer apps and data now on the newer versions of ios 15 it changes around slightly there'll be a bottom toggle just tap on that one and then you'll have the don't transfer apps and data option if you restore from iCloud backup if you restore from anywhere else well then the supervision mode is going to turn back on also you may lose your data just tap on don't transfer apps and data every other option you see you can set up however you would like until you are brought back to the home screen so i'm just going to go back to the home screen and there we go welcome to iphone slide to get started and so what we're going to do is we're going to open up settings and you can see here now it says this iphone is supervised and managed by supervised.me so there you go you now just supervised your device successfully so once you have supervised, what I recommend you do is you go back to supervised.me. There are a bunch of profiles you can download to customize your device. Uh, if you have a Mac, you can also use the Apple configurator application to download a bunch of profiles as well to, you know, restrict certain features. I will have some tutorials in the description down below, uh, which I recommend you watch next uh, for some tips and tricks you can do once you have supervised successfully. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.